I'm so excited that we get to be on this prayer adventure together. It's interesting as we engage in a process of prayer, it's so important to start off by sort of clearing the air, by processing our relationship with God and dealing with anything that might be in the way, anything that might be hindering our ability to get close to God or to hear from him accurately. Because sometimes there's areas of sin or struggle that are in the way that we may be pushed to the side too often, or sometimes we are not even aware of these things. It's important that we give God space to speak to these parts of our soul, to shape us and to change us, to make us more like him as we move through the process of seeking him for various areas of growth and change or strengthening in our lives. And so today as we begin, I want to encourage you just to take some time and space to just allow the Holy Spirit to search you, just to, to point out anything that he wants to point out. I love praying uh, the words of Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24, where it says, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Again, as we do this, we invite the Holy Spirit of God to search us and to know us completely, to show us anything that is out of line with the fullness of who he is, and to lead us in the way everlasting. And so the first part of what I want to encourage you to do right now is just to spend a few minutes just to pray these words again, Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24. Just spend a minute with God, pray these things, allow him to search you and to know you. Feel free to pause the video if you need to, to spend a few more minutes before you move on to the next part of today's prayer part. All right, then after we spend some time inviting God to search us and to know us, it's healthy and helpful to go through a process of confession. Just confessing to God any ways that we know that we are out of alignment with him, agreeing with him that these things are wrong, and inviting him to change us. And something that sometimes is helpful to us is to look at another perspective of what our sins might be. Because sometimes we are either just too used to them, or sometimes we ignore particular things. So what I want to invite you to do today is to just spend a few minutes reading through Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20, to 5, verse 7. So Ephesians starting in chapter 4, verse 20, all the way through to chapter 5, verse 7. And just ask God to point out to you anything that you're currently struggling with. And if any word or phrase or characteristic stands out to you, just pause and spend a minute just confessing to God any ways that you're engaging with this or things that need to change. If it brings to mind a word that you're not totally sure what it means, just take a pause, look it up, and see if there's any part of your life that's playing out in these areas. And ask God again for his forgiveness, for his strength. So again, feel free to pause the video if you'd like to. Just spend a few minutes reading through Ephesians 4 to 5, 7, uh, 420 to 5, 7. And just uh, ask God to point out to you whatever is going on that he wants to address in your life. Whatever areas of sin or struggle or misalignment with him are taking place in your soul. I just invite him to, to write those things right now. And then as you finish, I encourage you just to ask God, is there anything else you want to point out? Is there any other area of sin or struggle that I need to be aware of or I need to address with you? What else do you want to say to me with the things where I might be out of alignment with you? And again, just spend a few minutes just asking him about that. Now, one of the challenging things for us is that we're called not just to confess our sins, but to actually turn away from them and to move in an entirely different direction. This is the Christian concept of repentance. And often when we think of repentance, we think of kind of dragging ourselves through something hard. But repentance is just about a redemptive direction. Say we've been moving in an unhealthy perspective of who we are, or who God is, or who the people around us are. God is calling us to turn and to move in exactly the opposite direction and move towards what's right. Repentance is really a life-giving direction. It's a life-giving movement. And so spend a few moments with God considering what does it look like for you to turn around, to turn and move towards life instead of towards death in these particular things. Because we don't want to just confess our sins and continue on in destructive patterns or not make any particular changes that we need to make to avoid these sins in the future. We want to ask God to shape us and to change us, to move us towards life in these spaces. Again, for some of us, this might be about um, becoming aware of an area where we are caught in sin or struggle that we haven't been totally sure of until now. For some of us, this might be about uh, making the hard step to apologize to someone we've wronged or hurt or where there's strain in the relationship seeking to mend that particular thing. It might be about changing or adapting a habit or pattern or removing ourselves from a space where we find that we're tempted too often. It might be about sharing our struggles with someone so that we uh, have a sense of support and accountability and ability to move forward. So again, just spend a few minutes with God and ask God, what do I need to do to move away from the sins that I'm caught in and to move towards life or to turn and move away from things that have been destructive 
in the course of my life to this space. Again, feel free to pause the video if you need to, if you need some more time. Again, I want to just encourage you as you go through the course of this day to continue to just put, actually put in place and actually do the things that God is calling you to do. And also just to ask him to make you aware of ways that you're slipping into unhealthy things and to lead you towards life through the course of the day and to see how God wants to continue to lead and guide you over the course of this time. Pray that you would know his blessing and his strength and his empowering as he walks you through this day and through this season and that the fruit of what he does in you today would carry through for days and weeks and months and years into the future. That this would be an experience of freedom and peace like you've never known before. May God bless and keep you.